So hey guys, just before the video begins, I just thought I'd do a little summary of the chair I've been using for the past three months. It was provided to me by Comfort. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd do a, like a, a summary review. So what do I think of it? Uh, great. And again, I hope you guys know I'm going to be honest and open. That's just what I do. What's the benefits? What's like the negatives? Incredibly comfortable. Uh, it's breathable. You can see it's mesh material, so it's breathable. I don't sweat as much uh, on this chair comparing to like, you know, solid chairs. Uh, it helps my posture more because it's actually got lumbar support in the back. The build quality, like when I was building this thing three months ago, and if you haven't checked out that video in the top right of the video up there, you'll actually see a little card you can click on. You can tell the build quality in this thing is amazing and it's like top notch. Uh, and again, you'd expect that. This chair was around $1,000, so you'd expect that. And again, if you are somebody that wants to look after your back, you do long gaming sessions, feel free to check the link in the description. And again, you don't have to go to this price point, but there, there's other chairs in their range that you can check out and maybe go for that as well. Uh, and I will say in, you know, because a lot of people are like, why get this in comparison to the other like gaming brands out there? They're built a lot of the time on a very tight budget, you know, not great materials, you know, manufactured with not much care. And again, I've had them and they fall apart very quickly. I've had this for three months. And again, I have high usage. There is no signs of wear and tear on this thing. And uh, especially with my fat butt, like it's completely fine, like as it was three months ago. So I would very much highly recommend looking into it. The link is in the description. And if you've got any questions, I'll be in the comment section about this chair as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Again, we are continuing the diamond promo and we're playing uh, one of my best champions, Sway. Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series I take a Smurf account for a scout never played ranked before and show you the adventure to Diamond Return. Uh, in Diamond Promo, we won the first game on Aatrox, uh, you know, the old version, just in case you're watching this in like a few months time, the old version of Aatrox. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue. We are mid lane and I'm going to ban Zoe because I hate that champion. Uh, very much so. So goodbye. Um, so I don't know what I want to do. Again, usually I've been banning like Nunu. But I'm just, I'm just hoping the one game I don't ban Nunu, I'm hoping that it's like, I don't get cheesed. But knowing my luck, I'll probably get cheesed. Like, that's just the huzzy luck, isn't it? But, yeah. Right, so, uh, really, oh, they banned Zoe too. Wow, that's rare. So, I did just buy Dragon, whatever, Swain, Dragon Master, is that what it's called? Swain on this account, because it's on sale for me in my store, so I might play him. What's with the fiddles? God, there's so many fiddlesticks at the moment. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, someone's asking, why don't I play Zoe? I don't like her. I don't like to play her. I really, like, I don't like her aesthetic. I don't like to play against her. I just don't think she's very healthy for the game, personally. Ugh, Tam. Tam's pretty good versus Fiddle, because when he ults, like, Tam can basically sacrifice his health pool for whoever he's at. So it's like, he eats his AD carry to block the Fiddle damage, and it's like, ha-ha! I save you, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, maybe Swain. Swain goes very well with um, Fiddle. So, yeah, two massive team fighters, like, and I can pull people in to help him. Like, he fears them, I can pull them in. So yeah, I think we might go Swain. Depending, well, depending if I know what I'm against. If if I don't, then I'll probably go Swain anyway. But. If, if they pick something that, you know, is just amazing versus Swain. Is it Tam top? Oh. Interesting. Uh, let's do it. I'm in the mood. Again, I know we played a bit of Swain this series of Unranked Diamond, but, you know, I may as well just play what I'm in the mood for, because it'll probably be a better episode than stuff if I'm forced to play it. So let's just do this. Um, so, yeah. And there we go. Dragon Master. It is Dragon Master. Cool. So he went Poppy. Poppy versus Tam is basically pointless because you pick Poppy into... Um, wait, who am I against? I don't know. You pick Poppy basically into people that have mobility or dash or something and you can kind of stop the mobility. So I don't really know what their team comp is unless someone is trolling, unless the Shaco is saying, hey, I'm jungle, screw you, or the Lee Sin did it. Like... Potentially this is a dodge, or it's a weird combo. Leeson mid, uh, or Shaco mid, I have no idea. Or it's Morgana mid with Tam Kench support, maybe? I, I don't know. But that's going to be it. Uh, so let's get into the game where we're playing Swain in the mid lane. Alright, welcome to the loading screen. So obviously there is a bit of a weird person in the mid lane, which we'll mention in a minute. But my team, 
Diamond 4, Poppy has not played Poppy. Platinum 3, a Nocturne. Platinum 1 is myself and Diamond. I have got a one tick here, but it hasn't updated yet. Diamond 4 and Diamond 5. Enemy team, Plat 1. Lee Sin mid for some reason. Uh, then a Diamond 4, Shaco. Diamond 5, Diamond 5, Diamond 4. So yeah, against a Lee Sin mid, it's potentially a smurf. It was gold last season. 62% win rate you know, getting to Diamond. But it's only played one game of Lee, so I, I don't really know what's going on. Uh, but basically, how we win this game is if we survive early game, this game is 100% a 100% a free win. Like, 100%. If the Shaco and Lee Sin doesn't snowball, there is nothing the enemy has in late game that can stop us. They don't have really a big AP mage. They've got Morgana support. So, like, just get... Just survive the early. Like, I'm... I'm I'm probably going to get camped to this game. It would not surprise me. Like, it's a Lee Sin Cheese mid lane with a Shaco jungle with it, both with Ignite. It makes sense if they went for me, right? So, if I just survive, it shouldn't be that difficult. So, yeah, we'll try our best. Um, I might actually type. Um, I most likely am going to get camped. Just let my team know that I think I'm going to get camped. Because it kind of makes sense if I do. Um, again, they actually have a pretty strong invade. Morgana Bind and Lee Sin at level 1. That's pretty strong. What's that music? Do I? Oh! Fiddle! Why did you walk into a bush and then AFK? Woo! That was close. That's really good for us. If I got that E, Lee Sin was dead. Okay, okay. God damn. Never be that fiddlesticks. You walk into a bush and just like go, oh, I'm going to check Reddit or something. No. God damn it. Um, people are saying the Lee Sin is a Yasuo main and their team banned Yasuo. Oh, yeah, his name. Juan Trick Yasuo. One Trick Yasuo. Oh, wow. Why did his own team... If his name is literally One Trick Yasuo... Why would you ban Yasuo? I know, like, everyone dislikes that champion, more or less, unless you play him. But it's a relatively a bad idea to ban a one-trick out. Because, again, the way that you've got to think about it, even if you dislike the champion that they're one-tricking, well, they're a one-trick that has gotten to the same rating as you by pretty much only doing that one champion, probably. And what, you're banning that one thing out. You think they're going to be better on something else that they've never played or don't play. Like, it's just, it's really flawed logic when you ban out a one trick like that. Or a main or whatever. He's looking for Qs, by the way, because he took Q level 1, which he shouldn't have. His, like, he took it because of the um, the invade, but in lane... Again, I've played a lot of Lee Sin in, um, back in the day, in mid lane. You don't take... Ooh, he dodged it. Uh, you don't take Q in lane, you take E level 1 for wave clear. And a lot of the time, back in old Lee Sin lane days, you actually used to max W. Because you had to. Yeah, Lee Sin mid was a thing for a couple seasons. Frog and made it really popular. Also, this is the type of game that I kind of wish I went Ignite. Because I think I could farm this Lee Sin at level 6. Again, I'm likely to going to get camped. So I'm going to let him start pushing into me. When their lights flash. Let's get... Okay, there's Shaco. He's fine. There's his damage. Again, a lot of burst from him. So, just gotta survive it. And I've got teleport, so if I ever get low, we should... Oh, God, why did Poppy overstay? Like, Poppy knew that he was in the area, and she's still... Oh. Again, that's nothing to do with being autofilled. That's just bad decision-making as a player. I'll take it. I don't know if Poppy can get that kill. Maybe, but I doubt it. That's nice. It's a shame that I didn't get the kill Poppy did. Because I can definitely see myself snowballing this game. But it's okay. 
So wait, she's still going? Why are you still going? Jesus. Oh yeah, like, I'm gonna be honest, when she was fighting him there, I completely forgot it was Lee Sin mid. And, um, An yeah, I thought that he was Lee Sin jungle. <laughs> Alright. Wabam! I want to try and get this to push. Well, actually, the, the cannon minion is dying to my minions, so that's a cannon minion denied. Which is nice. Okay, that should do. Ping again. I like to ping every now and then just like to let people know there's a Shaco in the game. But yeah. What do I think is Swain's current skin? Or best skin, sorry. This one. I like this one a lot. Uh, I do hope that he'll be... Like, I, I reckon you could do an amazing ultimate skin with him. Again, maybe it would be too close to this skin, but like a demon. Like, demon... Uh, demon King Swain. Like, that would be so cool. And just make him in, like, Satan. That would be awesome. But I doubt they'll ever do it. Because it would probably look too close to this skin. Alright, so she's, again, overextending. Hmm. You can tell that she's not doing that well. Um, so yeah, so far we've survived the least in early game, so that is he's practically useless now. And you've got outscaled, my friend. Another cannon minion getting denied. I wonder if I could 2v... Like, the ignite might be a problem, but I reckon I could 2v1 if they don't instantly burst me. And I have enough mana to hold out. Go on, do it. The thing is, he knows he wants... Like, he knows I want him to go on me now, I think. Yeah, see how he's now shifted his Q to last hit instead of going for me? So, I'm going to start blocking the minions with my body. So, he has to Q me if he wants to Q. Shaco's there. Alright, we got him. Shame, like, I don't know what really what the Nocturne's doing, because the Nocturne is definitely behind the Shaco, yet he's playing like he's ahead. That's gone. Um, he needs to stop invading like that. Like, he literally was here. Don't be there. That's just silly. You're, you're invading a jungler that has an ignite advantage against you. Don't do that. Not in the early game. Do it later. When Ignite has fallen off. But right now, Ignite is a very strong summoner spell. Mm. He could be doing that with ultimate. If he just ding level 6, I don't know, maybe. Did he just ding level 6 from red? I'm not sure. You didn't buy boots? Yeah, I know. I can't. Because of my rune. <laughs> and to half health you go. <laughs> Why did he, like, like, people are saying in the Twitch chat, yes, he's mainly a Yasuo player, but he also plays Vladimir. So why didn't he... Vlad was open, because I actually thought about picking Vlad myself. <laughs> Does he get a double kill? No! Damn, he showed up at the wrong time. At least that wasn't Infernal. So far, Shaco's been involved in most of the enemy kills. Oh, he's giving me blue. I love you. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. God, he, this Lee Sin is literally doing the build from season 2 and 3 on Lee Sin mid. It's, um, Ravenous Hydra Rush. That's kind of funny. When was the last time I would have saw that build? Probably season 2. No, I don't want to keep running. Do I die? Oh, he had ignite up. That sucks. 
Shaco, I think Nocturne went... Like, Nocturne got the Lee Sin kill, but we could have killed Shaco if he actually went for the right target. I saw Shaco come over the wall, and I actually hit my E on him, if you saw. But he only killed me because he got his, his Ignite on me. I think he shivved and ignited, yeah. Oh, well, he actually... No, he did get a backstab. Okay. Then I made a mistake because I thought I ran quick enough. I didn't. Damn. Oh, nice. Extra damage like that is lovely. Okay. Yeah, Lee Sin didn't get anything. He just died. He didn't get an assist or anything like that. Shaco, um, Fiddle, sorry, is looking for an ultimate. He should go now. Right now. I think he missed his opportunity. Okay, gotta be careful until I've got ultimate. Knew it. I knew it! I literally just said it. I gotta be careful till ultimate. And I died. I knew it. With the Lee Sin's positioning, I should have backed off quicker. I saw it coming. That was relatively misplayed by my team, but I still get the kill. Shaco's probably bot lane. Nice surviving. Really nice survival. Honestly, it sounds really weird, but him getting that kill killed him. Because then the, he, he didn't have enough for the drain. Oh, red buff. God, Shaco's getting so fed. Um, yeah, because he didn't, he couldn't drain anymore. Um, and then the pool killed him. I don't know why Nocturne's just like cleared out my whole lane, by the way, but sure. I'm not scared that of a Shaco, though. We've got a Poppy. Poppy is like an, a really big counter. Um... Okay, it's that one, is it? No, it's that one. Oh, God, you're crazy. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love when crazy play works. Let's go. Oh, really? I got kicked away. I'm super chicken. Let's guess. I guessed wrong. Let's do infernal. We can get mid lane tower. We can get mid tower anytime. Infernal only comes up like, you know, a few times a game. If, well, this could be the only infernal for a game. That's so good. And we get okay, and we get mid lane. So that works. Sweet. I suppose it's easier than and then Poppy, she's doing all right, I guess, but she should probably back up. That Tam play was interesting. And yeah, Poppy misplayed. Oi, oi, oi. He's probably going to start looking to roam a bit. Okay, there he is. Okay, we got this. We got these. Do I teleport? Mm, nah. I'm just going to run. Oh! Oh, that's a really nice combo. They did say they were duo queue, by the way. You can kind of tell. Um, because they keep doing the same combo. Fiddle ult into... Um, fiddle ult into the thingy. Oh, there's three people bought lane. Oh, thank God that Lee Sin missed his Q. If he didn't, like, rush that Q, I probably would have died. Okay, careful there, but I'm coming. We can definitely 2v2. Oh, you had both summons up. Oh, Nocturne didn't ult in time either. Uh, oh, well, this guy's pretty slow. It's fine. 
I expected Lee Sin to be here, not here, so I can, was completely caught off guard. Puppy's dead again. What's she doing? She should just go full tank mode and just survive and then be useful later. I think I need to get a Zonyas this game. Because it counters their play quite hard. Normally I would never get Zonya second, but yeah. Does he get him? Oh my god, that was close. Tower, live! Live, tower, live, tower, live. <laughs> it's one auto tech from death. Yeah, I'll be very strong. Well, I'm actually quite strong this game, but oh, why did you walk back in your jungle? Oh, on that health? I'll be very strong in mid-late game versus their team comp. Because they'll have to run into me. As like... Oh, why did she walk into him? That was... Oh, no! That was the real one! Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think that was the real one. No. And time can show. Poppy, why did you go in? She just killed herself on Lee Sin. Just straight up just died. I don't know what she's doing. Again, it's okay to be autofilled, but... All, like, what you have to imagine, right? How many people, when you're on your main role, you look at the top laner or whoever, and you're like, God, why is he doing that? Because you think you know what you're talking about. Because you're, you're on your main role, you're feeling comfortable... Because mainly, like, it's just common sense. That's mainly what good League of Legends play is, is common sense. When people get autofilled, that common sense just fades away for some reason. Just keep the same decision making as you were if you were in your main role, but just kind of think, oh, I'm in top lane this game. That was close. Is Shaco good right now? Shaco's Shaco. Like, he'll never be fully meta. He's a solo queue champion. So usually it's mains or one tricks that you'll see play him. They attacked the wrong one. See how they split the focus and they didn't kill him because they split their damage. Again, some interesting play going on. Oh, she died. Poppy should not be looking to go for that, I don't think. She'll probably w walk into them and die again. Stop going for a please. To She's going to die again. No, oh, she's dead. Shut down. Okay, she gets one kill, which is good. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. Thanks for the soul. Uh, would you say there is a role you are not at diamond level? No. I'm comfortable playing every role in diamond. I never I've done that for years, so... Rift Herald is probably the next objective that people want. Because the dragon isn't that important. Like, it's still nice to have, don't get me wrong, but... It's not an infernal mountain, so people are kind of going to go, oh, let them have that and we'll take that. This is usually what happens. Without support, yeah. It, to, I know this is going to probably trigger some people. If you're probably a diamond level anything, you're a diamond level support player. You might need to do a little bit of research into a few things, but for the most part, you'll be completely fine. <laughs> that fiddle hole. Oh, she got killed. Really close. But yeah, they just killed three people. Actually, let's not... Ah, I knew it! Oh, 
Oh my god, they're just waiting for me. Get killed. Literally two of them are just waiting for me in that bush. It's like, come on. Like, I, you saw me back off thinking, are they there? Yep. They were. I did say this game I was going to get camped. So I was right in that. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll be fine when we, either we have Zonyos or we just get to late game. It's one of the two. Like, even just Zonyos. Like, if I could Zonyos there and avoid most of that damage and give my team the chance to get to me. Yeah. I will, when One, I wouldn't have died. And two... We would have killed everybody. Look at that damage that Nocturne's dealing. What just happened? Oh, did Morgana get a cheeky kill? Did that not hit? A fitting prize. Get that slow. Oh, she didn't spell shield in time. What? Uh, they must stock dog. More months to be subbed to Huzzy. Yeah, you got three in a row, man. Welcome. Thank you. What? Shield to the face. Shield to the face. That hit. Oh, there's the poppy counter. Phew. At least she knows about that. That missed. Okay, Shaco might come for Kaisa. She should not walk away from us right now. Okay. She should we keep walking. Well, the later this game goes on, the more likely our comp will win. They're full AD, and they've got a Lee Sin who's going to fall off, and they've got a Shaker that's going to fall off. A fitting prize. An enemy has been slain. I'm tickling him. Jesus Christ, die! <laughs> Shaco's down here. Nocturne might get killed in a second. I might get killed if I do that, actually. Okay, I see. I was about to get killed! <laughs> Wait, what the hell's that Morgana build? What? The... What? Why did... Why does she have Ludens? One more. I have no idea why she has Ludens. Like, at all. Huh? I don't think she has an idea. That's why she's built it. That's so bizarre. Oh, go on. Hit. No. Yay. What well up? Oh, he lived. Sweet. Living like that's really good. Again, the Leeson's falling off really quickly. God, they are hungry, this enemy team. They are playing like a pro... I know this can sound really weird. It's like, you are in solo queue. But they are playing like a pure solo queue team comp. No strategy. Just try to kill people. That's it. It doesn't really work that well after a while. What just happened? I tried. I knew Shaky jumped over the wall, man. That's why I ulted at the time that I did. I tried to save the fiddle, but... Oh, well. Only one of us died for the, all of that, so it's not even that bad. Wow. Rip enemy team. Wow, we get another win to Diamond Promo, probably. The games are really bizarre. Again, partially why I don't want to play my main account right now is because how weird the games are. Like, there's just a puppy doing dragon by herself. Because, you know, that's normal. A minion block. Wow. Okay, let's go back and get that Zonyas that we've been talking about for ages. That's going to make a big difference for me. And then we can continue building our normal build. 
Probably a Morello Nomicon against that team comp. Did he try to kill Caitlyn by herself? Himself? Huh. Interesting. Odd. Again, we've actually got a very good Baron team comp, by the way. We've got a tank that can tank it. You've got a fiddle that can also tank it. Oh, I should have... I didn't... Oh, I'm an idiot. I pressed R instead of Zonya's. I wanted to press Zonya's, but I pressed R by... Uh, whatever. That was a bad mistake. Also, she used her ultimate too early. Run! Yeah, I don't know why she's got a, a phage as Poppy. I just leave, just leave. Just don't die. Kaisa, you're gonna die if you go to like there's no point. She was hundred percent dead. Don't risk it. And now she's dead. What am I watching? Ah. <laughs> that was bad. They might try Baron. I need to get souls if they do. We can definitely kill this. Fiddle's got ultimate up. They are doing it. Give me them souls. Boom! Hello, enemy team. Oh, Shaco came back for me. Again, I think it's still fine, is it? No, it's not. Oh, it might be. It might be. If Shaco dies, they can't do it. And they... Damn. That sucks. At least they can't do Baron. Nice. Don't... Like, the thing... I uh, knew it. I was, like, I was about to say, where's Shaco? Did he go back or is he still around? Okay, at least they can't do it. That's the main point. I think Poppy will get this kill. But W, she'll speed up. Oh. Maybe not. She misplayed that. Okay. This game is just a fiesta. I don't like it. See, if I teleported there, I probably would get myself killed. Oh my god, that can happen? Poppy got it. And then used ult in the timing and they tele- Oh my god, I can't believe that. I've never seen that before. I have never seen that before. That's funny. We just can't be alone. Shaco's just picking people off too much because he got really fed this game. We got it! 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 Woo! Okay, they don't get it. That's the more important thing. Okay. At least they don't get the Baron. Again, this game, it should be a free win. Should be a free win. We got a group as five. It stops the lead. Oh, shit, go. Not a lot. But we're just not playing very well. Like, she's probably going to go in and get herself killed again for some reason. Exhibit A. They're gonna die if they're not careful. Shaco's killing the fiddle. If they're not careful. Please, just back off. It's like they need to, like, fight 24-7. Like, she's dead again. Like, what are you doing? Ah! Give me a headache. It's okay to back off. We did a really good thing. We stopped them getting barren. Just reset. Don't keep going. And again, just to make the point clear to everybody, that's nothing to do with this Poppy getting autofilled. That's just that's just player decision making. If 
I was the enemy team, I'd potentially be waiting to get a pick. Like, again, if, especially if I was the Shaco, where there's a box. You potentially are looking for picks. At least he didn't die. This game is just a fiesta and a half. Can we please go as five? Like, I, at this point, I even want to just say, can we go as five or can we just surrender the game? Like, that's just the way I feel right now. Please just back off. Ugh. Such a frustrating game because they don't have a... Their comp is terrible. They don't have a team comp. Yeah, Poppy probably is going to get herself killed again. Back off! This is just ridiculously bad. And again, it's not to do with her autofield, just terrible play. Oh look, she's dead again. <sighs> Guess all you can do is laugh. Is how bad the play is. Can we kill him? Who's he going for? He fiddle in the middle of that. Fiddle has not looked at our base. What are you guys doing? Gotta get rid of these minions, otherwise they're gonna actually cause a decent amount of damage. Oh my god, she did something. Yes! That hit! Oh my god, that hit. I am very surprised that that W hit. Oh. Also, Kaisa bought Zonyas as well this game. Again, Zonyas is just very important versus the enemy team comp. Saw that she, in that last team fight, she Zonyas the Shaco damage survived. Sonya! Damn. Mm, this sucks really bad. To be honest, I think we deserve to lose this game. We do not deserve to win. The Poppy isn't playing bad, she's just too aggressive. Eh, she is playing pretty bad. Like, decision making is part of how you play, right? Like, someone who's mechanically, like, the best, but has, let's say, the worst decision making, you wouldn't say they're playing good. That's part of, like, how you play. God, you guys really need a base. We're going to lose another in here. Now Nocturne's giving up on the base and wants to get another kill. Again, like I said, it's like a bronze solo queue game that people only care about getting kills. <sighs> In the grand scheme of things, that doesn't let us win getting that Caitlyn. No, not right now. And we lose it. See, we lost the base in tower because Nocturne didn't base to stop the minions and everything. Like, it's just bad. The Caitlyn kill isn't worth losing that. I never stop running. I'm gonna go get blue buff. 
Got Zonya's up in 10. It is risky a bit. It would surprise me if they come to kill me, though. Okay, we're good. Her being alone is also a massive risk. I don't know. It just feels like the closer you get to Diamond, the less common sense people have while playing. I'm a Kaiser alone against a Shaco, who's been looking for picks the entire game. That's going to go well. Just notice I've got 17 assists. Jesus. Just imagine if like half of those turned to kills. What, did they just got absolutely... Yeah, they did. You played that all right. Oh no! There we go. Oh, that was close. We could just uh, we could just do Baron. I think we're not going to be able to end. Good. That was really like I'm so grateful I got that E to kill the Shaco. That was incredibly close of not killing him. Like, holy moly! Again, this is a game that's frustrating because this should be a very free win. Their AD carry is really far behind, and the only one that's really fed is a Shaco. That's it. Find Elixir, because right now it's a very important stage of this game. We have Baron, we're probably going to look to push. So there's probably going to be a big fight happening. So, Elixir. Don't have Zonya no, no, um, Flash now, though. Which is a bit of a bummer. If he comes here. If he even walks this way, or actually just walks into this bush... Are you kidding me? Picks goddamn cheese Lee Sid and then wants the cheese to win the game too. I'm trying to pretend that I don't know. Sweet. Hell yeah! There we go. Can't get to her. Why did you go close to me? Ooh. Oh. Nice. They killed Tam as well. Oh, this game is nuts. Sweet. One and two. I've got teleport. I'm just going to take TP straight away. I don't even want to risk my team being without me. Saw him. Saw the outline of him. Hell my god, we won. What a stressful game! And he got countered by Poppy. 
We won! <laughs> Again, I shouldn't be that happy about winning this game. This should have been the easiest game probably of all of Unranked to Diamond. But it, it was so difficult. Jesus. Again, a lot of it was just because people wanted to be alone. Like, especially, like, the Poppy. It was like, right, guys, we did something good. And then Poppy just went to go do something and died. Didn't really get much for it. And it's like, right, we're four people. Like, oh, my God. Um, I don't even know who to give it to. Because Nocturne did his job quite well. And so did Kaiser. I'm going to give it to Nocturne because he stole the Baron. If he didn't steal the Baron with Smite, we probably would have lost the game off the Baron. Most likely. Uh, we went 9 9 21 assists. <laughs> Tied most assists with the enemy support. Uh, we got... Uh, uh, Nocturne got an S. We got an A. We won the second game of promo. And then damage done doing... Wow, look. And again, that is probably a big reason why we won this game as well. Is that look how even our damage split is. Like, very close. Like, you can clump that relatively well. The enemy team's got three, but obviously three people clumped, but less damage. And there's the Lee Sin falling off. Our fiddle did very much the same damage as their Lee Sin, our support. So it just kind of shows. But also, again, well, let's not ignore the Caitlyn too. The Caitlyn had a very rough game. But again, Nocturne can just jump on a Caitlyn for free and stuff like that. Basically, what Shaker was doing to me and Kaiser, that's what Nocturne was doing to Caitlyn. But yeah, wow, Zonya, and again, when all of us got Zonyas, that was a big deal. When I got Zonyas, when Kaiser got Zonyas, that also helped us a lot. Because it got rid of the Shaco's, um, the Shaco's, uh, cheese potential. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> that is a stressful game, so I'm done recording for today. Um... That'll be it. So if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. Again, we are continuing the promo. We are, well, one more win and we're in, we're in Diamond. Um, and then obviously I don't, we'll have to have a, like a discussion about what you guys want. Like, do you guys just want me to do um, more commentaries on the main account? Like there is a small percentage of me in the site. Do I just continue on this account? Like, do I just do that? I don't know, but that's going to be it. Throw a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.